Dion Wynn. Hi everyone, welcome back. Maybe look for the very first time today. We'll be delving right back into my film festival coverage and going back to Berlin. And we will be looking at Dasha Nekrasova's directorial debut, The Scary of 61st. Now, this film wasn't exactly on my radar until Dimitri told me I should really check this out. And once I read the synopsis, I thought to myself, wow, this is quite a daring and very bold kind of debut. And I had no early premonitions of what Necrosova was about or anything. I just went into this film not knowing much. And once the film actually debuted, the reviews were very mixed, some very positive, some utterly negative. I've seen one really negative review about this film on YouTube and I was like, wow, this is kind of crazy. But that's the thing, divisive films are always interesting subject matters to discuss and that's kind of the reason why we're here. So let's get talking. The film follows two mismatched roommates who rent an apartment in the Upper East Side. There is a strange aura about the place, but little do they know the apartment was once owned by the notorious pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. As the story unfolds, one of them becomes possessed by one of his victims and things start to take a sinister turn, right? This film from the get-go has the sense of a video nasty and this kind of tone is gonna be very uh, prominent through the films of this year and we'll discuss the other films later on. But this one from the get-go, this Polanski-esque opening with the buildings kind of really took you into like Rosemary's Baby territory, the corridors, the score, just evokes giallo and you kind of see what Necrosova was going for. She, it's taking you back to the films that kind of shook your foundations in many ways. And the fact that we're in New York, there's a lot of like this tint of Abel Ferrara within the film. And also Claire Denis' Trouble Every Day, which I found to be quite striking, along with Zolowski's Possession. So there's a lot of meshed things together. But what I really liked about this film was it's a very kind of modern take of these kind of shock factor films or the video nasty as we're going to call it and through the whole journey it just is ballsy it's a absolutely ballsy subject matter to look at uh, but it fits very well with what Necroso was going for and she has kind of said to herself before that she is a very renowned conspiracy theorist and she has explored the Epstein kind of conspiracy world quite a lot and within this film, you kind of sense this kind of research and obsession that she has with this absolute harrowing monster of a man. And I hope he burns in hell for the rest of eternity and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And in many ways, this kind of balance is there. But this Baba Yaga, this modern sense of a monster is kind of lingering through the whole film. And for many people, this may not be for them. But this sense of the fight back that is kind of building within its narrative is something that I found to be the kind of the main core of it. While this monster is there, this kind of push for salvation in many ways is really pushing the story forward. And this kind of intensity is really enhanced because of these two roommates, because they really don't get along and the friction is felt from the very beginning. And I think this sense of once they kind of disband and once the girl who's also played by Necrosova is possessed, it really just goes down this very unhinged road that is really unsettling at times. And there are moments which I was like, wow, I did not expect this to happen or she actually did this in the film. I'm not easily shocked in films, but this one actually rattled my cage quite a bit. And it's uh, this sense of a tortured soul and this sexual depravity is something that really kind of bolsters the scary of 61st to be a film that really sets a tone. And it's a very impressive debut from Dasha Nekrasova. In many ways, I did not expect this film to kind of grab me the way it did, but I do solemnly know that this film is not going to be for everyone. And this is just my humble opinion and what I took from it. This film is going to be very divisive in cinema. And I guess in many ways, we just have to respect each other's opinions on this, but it will be coming out and be prepared to be kind of shocked by this film, but also be in awe of what Necrosova kind of brought to the table because not many times in modern in the modern age of film you get debuts like this and she has set a tone for herself. I'm very intrigued to see if she makes another film and what she makes next. It is very 
abhorrently clear that she has a lot of things to say. So if you actually got to see the scary of 61st, please let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. And if you haven't, what is your favorite video nasty? Please let me know because I'm always intrigued. And the next up on the channel will be my What I Saw at Sundance edition, since I promised I would make it even though I was in Sundance in January, but it doesn't matter. And after that, we will be going into, so we want to get into Nagisa Oshima. So please stay tuned for that. Like, share, subscribe as you please, and continue spreading the love of this channel. And I hope you're doing well. And as we normally see on this channel, Dios Danko, Obrigado, Merci Buku, Arigato, Dankeschön, Bitteschön, all the shuns, and obviously, never change. Bye.